Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Does Poundland Makeup Really Work? So I've got loads of Poundland makeup sat out in front of me. I've got pretty much a full face worth, which is what I'm going to be trying today. Um, I did buy this stuff quite a while ago, like before lockdown, before quarantine and all that. I haven't just walked off to Poundland to go and buy makeup for a video. I've had this sitting there for absolutely ages. It was in a haul months and months and months ago. Um, but yes, I'm going to try it. I've got all my normal makeup brushes that I would normally use for my everyday makeup in front of me to give it a fair go. Um, and I've also got the same makeup sponges I would use. So I've got a beauty blender. That's not a beauty blender. I've got my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion. I've got a beauty blender and I've got one by Brushworks. So I've got a lot, a lot of lot of stuff in front of me. I have used no primers or anything. All I have done is washed my face and moisturized just like I would before my makeup every single day. So I'm gonna to get to the makeup. I'll put in close up shots of the products I am using in the corner or over the video. Um, but yes, let's get round to the actual video. I may just say though, it is really, really, really strange to be on camera wearing no makeup. Like, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. It is so bloody weird. I don't like it. So we're gonna try and cover this up as soon as possible. Um, where is my... I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette as my mirror because it's the only mirror I have which won't reflect my studio lights into the camera um, so I can use it and you guys won't get blinded so that will be good and also excuse any noises you guys hear in the background on lockdown and there's people partying over the road like thanks for taking advice um, but yes I'm going to start off with foundation I think I'm going to start with foundation that's just what I feel more comfortable starting with I do prefer doing my foundation Followed by my eyebrows, followed by my eyes, followed by my lips. That's just the order I like to do things in. So I'm going to start off with foundation. I'm going to be using the Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation with UVA and UVB filters. I've got this in the shade Warm Porcelain. Now, the reason why I got shade Warm Porcelain was because it's the only light shade they had. Everything else was like extremely dark. It does sound quite runny, like. But give it a mix up I suppose okay that's orangey I don't know whether to use a brush or a sponge I would normally go for a sponge so that's what I'm going to try actually can't this looks really dark like compared to my skin tone that looks really 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 dark but you know what we'll give it a go I'm actually afraid but it seems to be quite what's the word I'm looking for liquidy so it might blend quite well I have tried all of this on my hand first make sure I wasn't allergic to any of it before I started applying it to my face because I have sensitive skin and I do like to kind of what's the word I'm looking for I do like to um, make sure I'm not allergic to anything before I start smothering it over my whole entire face and this is a really, really thin foundation. I mean incredibly thin. It's kind of more like a moisturiser. Um, natural long lasting foundation, a flawless matte finish, enriched with vitamin E for added protection. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, but hey, it's a pound. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, mm, I'm not overly concerned. At least it's not making me look orange, which is something I'm really happy with. It's blending quite well, but it... It is definitely, I'm going to do another layer, definitely. Okay, so I have just finished applying my foundation. It feels really wet. It says it dries matte, but it feels really kind of wet and sticky at the moment. Like I'm used to working really fast my foundation because it normally dries so quick that I have to like really, you know, speed up. Um, 
I've got a concealer here, as you guys would have seen, my face isn't exactly high coverage. This foundation, I've got two layers of it on and it's still showing my blue vein under my eye, which is something I really don't like and it is a little bit orange for me. Um, the next thing I'm going to try, I got here and this is a Makeup Gallery Hide and Chic Natural Coverage Ivory One Conceals Blemishes, Hides and Conceals Blemishes for Natural Coverage. Um, I got some ivory, they didn't have porcelain. Um, I don't quite know how this is going to work out. I haven't used a stick concealer since maybe I was 14. I use concealers like L'Oreal Paris Infallible Concealer, Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, Tarte Tape Shape and all of that. So I'm used to liquid concealers. As for a stick concealer, I, I've, it's, been, it's been a while. Um, this is slightly different shade wise to my skin but it's not a major difference and it does feel quite like kind of soft and silky it should be easily blended now where am i going to apply this i feel like this foundation really hasn't done well i have a feeling the foundation may come off when i put this on so i'm going to apply a little bit under my eyes that's where i'd always use concealer under my eyes, slightly around my nose, a little bit on my nose with red, a little bit there. Don't really have many blemishes at the moment, which I'm quite happy with. And I can see it's taken away the foundation. Yeah, I thought it would. Honestly, though, to the person that's showering outside because they shut their mouth. Like it's 10 o'clock at night and there will be people trying to sleep at this time of night. Like, I understand you want to have fun and all that. But you seriously need to learn to respect others. And honestly as well, you can hear, if you can hear that, I have got my windows shut, my vents shut, my blinds down, and you can still hear them. It's, oh, it annoys me. But how are you guys doing with this lockdown and all of that, and how are you getting along? I hope you're all really, really well and doing well, and staying indoors and not being one of those idiots that are going out for things that are non-essential, like going out shopping, your daily exercise, all of that, that's all good. But I hope you're staying indoors unless it's for like an actual purpose like honestly people are just going out at the moment just for the sake of going out have no care for others and it really annoys me but this is what it looks like person i am going to apply a pressed powder now i got the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder in the shade Translucent 1, Super Soft Matte Powder for a Shine Free Finish, contains Vitamin E. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Powder Brush, which is the brush I use every single day. Tap it off, that's a lot of excess. I would normally apply a powder over my face anyways because I do like a matte finish. I don't like the dewy look i love the matte look so that's what i'm going to do i definitely matted that down a bit because it was really shiny prior to this that has definitely toned it down a little bit under my eyes guys quickly what it looks like with the powder personally i feel it looks a thousand times better with the powder it just looks a lot more brought together um, the next thing I'm going to try is the Makeup Gallery Feeling Blush Blusher in the shade Candy Floss Super Soft Blush Powder with Vitamin E. And it's just kind of this pinky shade, which I love this shade. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Blush Brush and just add a little bit. Um, 
like I do quite like that colour. I do love a pink blush. I feel like it just looks really, really nice. And also I feel like a pink blush does definitely suit me because I have quite a pink ready undertone on my cheeks anyways. I am then going to be using the Makeup Gallery Contour Kit in Light One Cream Highlighter Super Soft Contour Powder with Vitamin E. I'm not going to be using the highlighter because it's obviously cream, I'm not going to put that on top of my powdered face in my blank canvases F one contour brush just in the dark contour shade tap off the excess and I am just going to contour my face like I normally would I can't help staring in the viewfinder because I feel like it looks quite nice but I'm just gonna apply that just do my temples and I always go over my contour as well, just with a little bit of my makeup sponge, just to help blend it together that little bit more. I like a well blended makeup look, I don't like any harsh lines or anything like that. I feel like it really well blended. The next item I'm going to in is the Makeup Gallery Good To Glow Highlighting Powder in One Pearl Shimmer. Illuminating Super Soft Touch Powder for Radiant Glow, contains vitamin E. And it just looks like this. Just where I would normally highlight cheekbone. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit everywhere really. Okay, next we're going to be moving on to eyebrows. I'm dreading this part because I always use a eyebrow pencil and I've got to use a powder and I haven't used a powder for years. Makeup Gallery All About The Brow Eyebrow Kit. There wasn't a shade of this, it was just literally this. There's no colour to it. Create the perfect brow using one or blend of eyebrow powder shades. Finish with a sweep of highlighter. So it comes in here, you've got four shades. So you've got really, really dark brown, kind of a warmish brown, more of a cool tone brown and a highlighter. I'm living for this highlighter. This might become my highlighter for my face. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that here. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Definitely. Oh, that's a better highlighter. I'm liking that. Um, right, just for the sake of doing my brows, I've got my Rimmel London eyebrow pencil here i'm just going to be using the end of it the spoolie part just to brush out my brows um i'm not using the product itself but i just need to brush through these to remove some of the foundation and powder and just kind of get them on the starting line to be in the right shape um here i've got in front of me two angled brushes one by real techniques and if i can find the other one that would be perfect ah and one by So Eco. I'm gonna go between these two to do my brows, just make sure they're clean, they should be, I don't really use them. And I'm gonna start off with this one, I think, because it's a bit smaller than the Real Techniques one. The warm toned brown, because my brows definitely are a darker shade of brown. And I'm dreading this. I might go quiet while I'm doing this, by the way. So I finished filling in the brows and I went around this one with a bit of concealer and my Real Techniques accent brush just to clear it up a bit. I'm going to do the same on the left eyebrow. Honestly, that's the best I can do. This is taking me forever. Um, I have never got along with powders for my eyebrows. I've only ever got on with pencils, which is why I use pencils, um, but they didn't have that option. 
don't know if they do now, but they didn't when I brought these products. The thing is, I can't really blend them. To me. I'm going to be using the Makeup Gallery Do The Duo Eyeshadow in Prom 8. This is... I need to go back and open it. <laughs> it comes with two shades, so you get kind of a pinky shade and a light pink shade. I'll just show you. I do like these colours. These are colours I would use. It just looks like that. It's really, really nice. I'm just hoping it blends well. Um, so, let's clear the foundation off my hands. Where's my brushes? I'm going to be using the Blank Canvases Cosmetics brush. This is E40 and E41 on the same brush. Um, I'm going to be taking the light shade first and kind of blending that through my crease and just kind of creating the blending shade, I guess you could say. Uh, this is a lot darker on my eyes. Apply that. It's a really pretty colour. I, I do like that. That is a nice colour. It seems to be blending pretty well. I would say, yeah, it is blending quite well. Just slightly wipe the brush off slightly and use the light highlighting shade from the eyebrow palette. Just my inner corner and brow bone. So I'm liking that and then I'm gonna take the darker shade in the eyeshadow palette, just for the outer corner. Slightly blend that into the crease. So I'm really quite happy with that. It's blending quite well and there's not much fallout to it. I am just going to take more of a dense brush if I can find one. I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques brow brush and I'm just going to be using that with the darker shade of pink just to take it under my lash line a little bit. Show you guys what the eyes are looking like. If you can focus. That's how far we're getting with them. So the next part is liquid eyeliner. I'm really not good at this, so I really don't want to do it on camera. But I'm going to be using the Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner. Is there a shade? Please be black. Long lasting, intense colour for bold natural eyes. I hope you're bloody black, because if it isn't... <laughs> um, oh, it's not pointed brush. That's going to be difficult. So. I hate these kind of eyeliners. I'm just gonna clean it up on my hand a little bit so it's not got loads of product on it so I can get that initial shape. I've got itchy nose. But let's see if I can do this. Okay, so that is as good as I'm going to get the liquid eyeliner because I honestly suck at liquid eyeliner unless it's in a felt tip form. I am then going to be using the... Where did you go? There it is. Makeup Gallery Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara in shade Ultra Black. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes first just with my eyelash curler. Mascara time. Oh, it's kind of like a plasticky wand which I'm not used to personally because I haven't used a mascara with a plastic wand absolutely is it's quite dry it's quite a dry formula um, it is spreading my eyelashes out nicely though because obviously the brush is separating them nicely It's a very dry formula. Okay, so that's the mascara done. I'm just gonna get rid of the fallout. And the last thing that we're going to be doing is lips. I've got the lip liner in Makeup Gallery Rose 2 lip liner and the matte lip colour Makeup Gallery Pout Matters in the shade. What's the colour of you? 
but it doesn't have a colour. Okay then. <laughs> it's just this nude colour. I'll put them side by side. Um, I've got this nude matte lip colour and a lip liner. They don't match, I will say that. They're very far from matched. This better dry matte. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells really vanilla -y. And there is the finished look of a full face of Powland makeup. Honestly, I think it looked quite good on camera. I won't know until I edit this video and it could look absolutely terrible. But I'm liking it from what I can see in the viewfinder. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up shot I am looking in the viewfinder right now. Um, I quite like the lips. The colour. They are dry and matter and matter and matter as the seconds go past. I quite like the lip liner and the lip colour. Um, I quite like the highlighter from the eyebrow palette. I love the colours of the eyeshadows. They're absolutely lovely. Um, the eyeliner's okay. Sort of alright. Um brows I'm not overly keen on they look okay but they just look too bold and in my opinion I in my opinion on me eyebrow powder always looks too bold um quite like the blusher I will be keeping that in my collection I'll be keeping the lip color in my collection um and the eyeshadows the mascara is a big no like you can't it focuses you can't barely see the mascara and my eyelashes are quite big and with the right mascara I go massive so I'm not quite happy on that as for the rest of it foundation concealer powder contour highlight blush I'm all right quite happy with um brows they look okay lips they look all right the only thing I'm really disappointed with personally is the mascara is a big big downfall um if the mascara was just a little bit better and a little more kind of a wet product it would have gone on a lot nicer um but overall i am happy with it and the fact that every product was a pound i'm not going to complain um but yeah that's a full face of poundland makeup